Hey, YouTube. All right, well, maybe we shouldn't do that happy tone for this video. All right, hey, how is everybody? All right. I just want to make this quick video just because I just got one to... done watching Big Bang 3, which is my show. And it reminded me about something I really didn't want to be reminded about. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm a Star Trek fan, and how dare I not make a video about this? But this last Friday, uh, Leonard Nemore, a.k.a. Spock, live long and prosper. And yes, I am able to do it. Ow, son of a bitch. So I popped my wrist there in part of the foul language. Passed away. So I figured, you know what? I'll do a little Star Trek, short little Star Trek, um, uh, I'm thinking about this, uh, my thoughts of over the movies, you know, you know, like, break down the movies of what I think was the best one, and the worst one, or as they pop in my head here. Alright, I'm gonna start with the worst one first, because that one's gonna... And TV series as well, because most of the time the movies connect to the TV series and all that. But, yeah. Okay. First is D Space Nine. Terrible. I hated D Space Nine. The reason I hated D Space Nine so much. Now, yes, it was still in the Trade Federation and all that. But, they were not on an Enterprise. And to me, Star Trek was always about the crew of the Enterprise. Like in the starting, the first one. And then I'd say after that one, I want to say Star Trek Enterprise. I mean, it was cool, but it just didn't have the... No, wait, no, not the better prize. Voyager. Including the movie that came with Voyager. The old, see what I'm trying to say here? The movies that came with Voyager. Uh, yeah, those... Well, not the world's greatest. I mean, no offense. They just weren't me. I didn't really watch them that much. I just didn't get into them that much. Then came Enterprise. It was good. It was good. But it was just for me, it was always nice seeing the history. You know, about the first crew and all that. Because everybody automatically assumes that William Shatner's crew was the first crew. Apparently not. Rest in peace, Spock. We will miss you. Greatly. And then, um, after that... I'm trying to think. Next Generations, I want to put that second best. I'm trying to think here. Alright, then, let's put third best. I love the third best because I can't put Generations below it. Is the J.J. Abrams movies. They're great. Alternate reality. But it took a little bit for me to understand it. And once I finally figured out where they were going with it. I loved them. I love them. So like the second one. Into the Darkness I think. Yeah. Into the Darkness. I love that movie. Because of the fact of. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, because of, you know, how that was. Uh, because of just how that was. Sorry, I have to make it this short because of time restraint. Alright, so yeah, just how that was, it was great to, you know, just, once I figured it out, by the second movie I was enjoying it, and the third one I'm really gonna enjoy. <laughs> Gotta love, uh, Kirchhoff. I can do that, I can do that, okay, I... Seriously, gotta hurry up, though. Alright, Next Generations will always be second best to me. Because I grew up with my dad watching the William Shatner stuff. Yes. And Spock. But Next Generation, Captain Picard, a.k.a. Patrick Stewart, a.k.a. Charles Xavier. Old man Xavier, not young, good-looking Xavier. Alright, well, I'm going to let you guys go. I just thought I'd give you that. Oh, yeah. Officially, number one is the William Tatner stuff. I grew up watching it. That's how I was introduced to the series. 
So that's how I really feel about it. I'm going to let you all go. I know this was a short video. It was not a planned one. That's why it's probably terrible. But live long and prosper. And I will catch you all next time. Probably on Saturday for my Power Ranger review. Well, you know what? Let's just do that sign off. Just because I think it might sound cool. But um, may the power protect you and live long and prosper.